so I am in the process of cleaning out the Luna enclosure. Um, I wanted to show you guys before I start putting uh, floral tubes back in here that this crazy caterpillar decided to make its cocoon in the bottom of the um, floral tube holder. So I can't peel it out, not for quite a while anyway, um, because even after making its cocoon, it takes a little while for them to actually pupate inside, and um, after a good couple of weeks, it will be, the cocoon will be hard enough for me to peel it off of there. Um, but I'll show you the other cocoons that are in here. There's this one. You can kind of see it looks kind of green inside, and that's because the caterpillar has not pupated inside there yet. It's still just preparing to pupate and finishing up its cocoon. And then we have this one right here, which I accidentally ripped a hole in as I was trying to take the paper towels out. So, but I'm still going to leave it be. It looks like it may have already pupated in there. Either that or it's just turned that pinkish brown color that some of them do before pupating. Um, and then up on the top of the enclosure we have this cocoon that I found. And we have this cocoon that I found also. So I'm going to start trying to put some of these floral tubes back in. I do have to be careful not to put a floral tube in any of these four right here. Alright, I have this holder which can go back in now. And I'm going to have to put all of these guys back in and I have um, these up on the top of the enclosure that I would like to put back in um, I may have to try to convince them to let go of the top of the enclosure so that I can do that come on buddy Know we have caterpillars that are holding on here. Yeah, I think I'm gonna need two hands to do this, so I'm gonna pause the video for a minute, guys. All right, so some of these guys just would not let go, so I had to cut the branch that they were on, and I'm going to put some fresh leaves up here in hopes that they will climb onto the leaves. Um, these cocoons are going to stay up there. And I'm going to start trying to put all these guys back in.
Oh yes, this is also a cocoon that I also found. Let's see if I can. big guys are so heavy the bottom of the enclosure is wet here because I had um, floral tubes laying on the top of the enclosure that had caterpillars on them I know buddy I'm gonna leave you alone in a minute And the floral tubes had water in them, and the water was dripping down. This guy just finished molting. You can see his old skin behind him. empty this one is empty This guy is huge. Almost looks like he's starting to turn a little bit pinkish in color. So he is probably ready to pupate. Well, to build his cocoon and then pupate. Goodness, the size of some of these is just quite impressive. I did find a few dead caterpillars in here. I don't know if there was something on one of the branches or leaves that they ate or what. This is another cocoon. So 
I'm going to put this one on the top of the enclosure also. This guy is just clinging on to the tiniest little stick. Andy's holding a piece of frass, which is caterpillar poop. So I'm gonna stick him right up there on some leaves. And we still have these guys here. There we go. That need to go back in. This caterpillar on the side of the enclosure, I don't know what is up with him. He does not seem healthy. And he feels kind of squishy which is not a good sign. So I think I'm going to try to remove that caterpillar. Everybody else that was over here, oh, we have a little runaway. I'm gonna have to try to get that guy on a leaf. Perfectly. All the caterpillars that were there climbed onto these fresh leaves. I think what I'm going to do is, because this is a fresh branch, I'm going to stick it in a tube of water, a floral tube of water. Um, because I have not prepared the floral tubes yet for tonight. But I do need two hands to do that. So I'm gonna pause this. Okay, so there, I, don't, I didn't even count how many fresh tubes I put in here. Each tube has eight branches um, so there's a lot of fresh food in here right now, but we have a lot of caterpillars and a lot of them are big caterpillars. So the enclosure kind of looks overtaken by food at the moment. And then all the other caterpillars are here on the bottom of the enclosure. The ones that I cut off of the dead or dried up leaves or branches that they were on. 